Start off with a fresh and moisturized paste. I put the reference of this makeup look on the screen so you guys can see. I used a combination of two illuminating primer to create glowy healthy skin. With any eyebrow pencil of your choice, draw the brow shape, making it thinner than usual. Today, I use a gray pencil to match the cool toned hair. Use a clear brow gel, brush the eyebrow hair upwards and outwards. Lighten the brow using a light brow powder. Next up, clean up the brows with some concealer. Drawing your eyebrows before doing foundation make it easier to clean up. For color correction, I used a YSL concealer in a peachy shade for the under eye. Blend it out with a small buffing brush. Make sure it's all even. Her skin has cleared up a lot, so I only used a foundation with light to medium coverage today. Using a flat foundation brush to blend requires a decent makeup skill, but it gives such a nice layer of foundation. I use both swiping and dabbing motion to get rid of brush strokes. To contour, I use the same YSL concealer but in a darker brow shade. Contouring with cream products makes it more natural. Blend everything out with a soft sponge. Add more concealer as you desire. For a pink space, I only use one dot of concealer on each side to give her under eye more coverage. For the eyes, I'm back with my favorite Urban Decay palette. Taking a soft coral color, blend it all over the upper and lower eyelids. With a blending brush, take a burnt orange color and apply to the outer third of the eye. I also apply the orange to the inner corner of the upper lid. Taking a one brow shade, apply to the bottom lash line, outer and inner corner to give the eye more depth. Using the same color to draw the eye back, starting from the outer corner. This would enlarge your eyes vertically. Apply some glitter to brighten the eye back. Now I used eyelash glue to stick some cute stars to her face. Take a reddish liner, apply to the bottom waterline to make the eyes look more watery. Line the eyes like usual with a brown liquid liner. With a bronze shimmery eye pencil, I soften the eyeliner a little bit. Then I gave her eyes a tight curl and apply some brown mascara to match the overall tone.
Holding the mascara wand upwards would help you get into every eyelash when doing the lower lashes. Now I cut the fake lashes into small strips and apply right under the real lashes. I'll make another video to show you this technique soon. You can see that there isn't any fake eyelashes bent, even when pink's looking down. Moving on to the blush, I layered two shades of orange blush for a vibrant yet well blended effect. Apply the blush to the highest point of your cheekbones, the tip of your nose, and under the bottom lip. I took the light colors in this bronzer pack and give her face some highlight. Then I quickly give her nose a light shading. Apply blush to the lip line to create soft blurred lip line. Taking two orangey lip tints, I apply the softer one all over her lips and the darker one on the inside. Finally, I took some glitter eyeshadow, apply to her face and eyebrows to give her a shimmery look. Last but not least, use a white face paint with a sparse brush. Apply onto the lashes to match the original art. And that's it! This is the final look. So, what do you guys think about this makeup look? We love it so so much and we hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you again in no time. Bye!